hottest things at the Arizona Science Center is the planetarium. This is Mike George, who is going to tell us about what makes the planetarium so hot. Well, what makes it so cool is that we can fly into Saturn. We have Saturn's rings right here, and mm -hmm. we can go anywhere in the universe. We can go inside of an atom to the very farthest reaches of the universe. Okay. And I almost want to reach out and grab these rocks. Yeah, you know, <laughs> during, during shows, you see a lot of people going like uh -huh. that. And it's, it's because uh, of our dome and our technology that you feel like you're immersed in it. You okay. really feel like you're there on Saturn or here uh, at Titan with Saturn wow. rising off in the so distance. So people are like this during the whole show. They are. They are. <laughs> and we ask them questions. They ask us questions. We engage them. We have this box that we can literally go anywhere in the planetarium and bring up anything. Okay. So you guys change often, too. Now, of course, it's all about, you know, the planetarium and, and Mars and Venus and space yes. and all that stuff. But you change often depending on what's going on in the world. It, that is true. Uh, some of our shows allows us to actually bring in the latest news of what's going on. And, oh. and that is what's amazing about the technology. We can do anything with it. We can go anywhere. That is totally hot. Now, the planetarium does cost a little bit extra in addition to your admission. So right. what are people? spending about five to eight five, bucks. Five to eight actually. bucks. Okay. But also, if you are, if you have a planetarium upgrade, if you're a member and you uh -huh. buy the planetarium upgrade, then you get it free. Ooh, I like that one. Yes, okay, so too. there you go. Something cool. Have fun. Two stories up. I'm not even looking down on this one. Erica's here with me. Hi, Erica. Hello. You're Hook me there, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so you're unhooking me, and I'm going out on... All right, so what you'll do, put your hands on the handlebars, uh -huh. you know, little uh -huh. handles there, okay. and you're going to be riding backwards. Okay. So, go ahead. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> Okay. You're 100% safe. I am. I'm 100% safe. There's signs working with you to this one. Yeah, why am I not tipping over right now? Well, if you look down below her, Yeah, no, I can't see. look down. Well, you don't have to look down. Okay, you but look down. down below you, there's a 375-pound counterbalance. Now, as far down from the rest of the sky cycle as it is, right? it puts the center of gravity right underneath the tightrope wire that she's riding on. Okay. So, that means that she doesn't even balance? have to balance herself on the bike. It's balancing it for her. So, if she's feeling a little brave, she can try and tipping it just like that. Just making sure she's staying in place, throwing her body weight from one side to the other. It'll swing just like a pendulum, and if she stops tipping, bring her right I back to like center like circus. normal. Okay. So it's just a really fun interactive physics experiment. Yeah. This is really, you know what I have to tell you, this really challenges my inner child because I want to scream. But I'm not going to because I'm just cool, cool as a cucumber. All right. Daphne, over to you. <laughs> wow. Come close and I'll grab you. Pull you okay, thank in. you. <laughs> wow, well, Connie. Okay. That, you survived. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> You're good. Are we still on my screaming on TV? Probably, well, Dad, wow. right? You know, Connie, I have to say, that was pretty impressive. And we are at the right. Arizona Science Museum, the exhibit right here at Body Worlds, which is an opening up today, and you're going to find out more coming up on Smart Family Live at the Arizona Science Center.